This conference will now be recorded. Hi, uh, this is Vintet. Uh, today I'm going to explain some of the informatica course of talking through questions and answers. So first one, when we use lookup transformation. Lookup transformation is used to get a related value. In real time, uh, we use in SCD1 and SCD2. We are going to take a look up on the target table to compare with the source in order to identify that record already exists in the target or not. To qualify the incoming rows from the source, whether insert or update operation. So, get a related value means suppose your source uh, has employee number, name, salary, department number. Employee number, name, department, salary, your source. You want to get a department name along with that in the target. So, but department name information is available in the other table. So, you can take the DPG table as lookup. So, here, D number D are the lookup rows. You compare DPG number with the lookup DPG number and then you can get the related value A. Is lookup transformation active or passive? Till Informatica 8.6 version, lookup transformation is passive. So from 9 onwards, it acts as active as well as passive. So while creating lookup from 9 onwards, when you enable the checkbox, then it will be active, otherwise it will be passive. So what's the difference between connected and unconnected lookup? So first difference is connected lookup participates in the mapping flow. Unconnected lookup doesn't participate in the mapping flow. See here. This is known as mapping flow. Unconnected lookup doesn't participate in the mapping flow. Connected lookup can return multiple output flows. Unconnected lookup can return only one flow. Connected lookup supports dynamic cache. Unconnected lookup doesn't support dynamic cache. Connected lookup supports user-defined default values. Unconnected lookup doesn't support user-defined default values. See here, suppose D name, you can give default value or not. If there is no match from the lookup. Suppose department number 20 is coming from the source, 20 is not available in the DFB table. Instead of null, you can set default value on null. This user-defined default values doesn't support unconnected. When we go for connected and when we go for unconnected. In general, if you want to return multiple output ports, you go for connected. Report. When we go for unconnected, if you want to call the same user multiple times for a single row. Assume an employee is working in different departments. So you want to get corresponding D names, then you are going to call for that employee multiple times by passing different D numbers. In such cases, you go for unconnected. How to call an unconnected lookup? You can call from expression with the syntax colon LKP dot lookup transformation name with arguments. How to improve performance of unconnected lookup? As you know, if there is a match, lookup returns value, otherwise, lookup returns null value. So, if your source column is self null, then you need not call unconnected lookup. So, you can put like this I have is null, not is null of. So in this way, you can reduce number of calls to the unconnected lookup and you can improve the performance. If you are source code itself null, then there is no meaning of sending null to lookup. What are different types of catches in lookup? We have static, dynamic and persistent catches. Catches. So, what is a dynamic catch? So, by default, whenever you create a lookup, it creates a static catch. So, dynamic means so uh, whenever you are comparing data, source 
if the lookup the new data which is coming from the source also you can update in the cache or you can also insert in the cache so dynamic means when running the mapping you can uh, update or insert data into the cache to consider static cache once the cache is built it won't change whereas in the dynamic cache in the runtime you can perform inserts and updates on the top of the cache what is persistent cache the persistent cache comes into picture if the same lookup you are using in multiple mappings the same lookup you are using in multiple mappings you need not build a cache for each mapping in the first mapping itself you create a cache you can give name to that cache and the same cache name you can use in all other mappings what is new lookup port and what is associated port these two will come into picture when you use dynamic lookup so i will show you here what is that so here you select dynamic lookup cache and then go to post that see here new lookup report comes automatically and associated what is new lookup report now new lookup Robot represents what operations happened on the dynamic cache. Suppose if the new lookup robot returns zero, that means no changes happened in the cache. If new lookup robot returns one, then the row inserted into the cache. If it goes to it updated the cache. So the possible values are zero, one, two. Zero means no change in the cache. One means insert. Two means update. So what is associated? So as we discussed, dynamic cache allows to update or insert in the cache. So with what value you want to update in the cache? So suppose you want to update something like with what value, with what port you want to update in the cache represent associated port. Thank you.